Gestational diabetes is diabetes that gets diagnosed while you're pregnant. So according to the diagnosis, any person that didn't know they were diabetic and then gets diagnosed with diabetes during pregnancy is a gestational diabetic. But true gestational diabetes is really only a factor of pregnancy itself. And it usually doesn't develop until the very end of the second or very early third trimester. And so we generally t test for it between 26 and 28 weeks. The test is kind of a yucky test. You gotta go in fasting before you eat, They'll check your blood sugar, and then they give you the sweet stuff to drink that's pretty nasty, and then you wait an hour and they recheck you. And the idea is we want to see what your body does with this measured amount of sugar to make sure that it's processing the sugar correctly. If you fail that test, you may need to do another test in which you do this similar kind of thing, but for three hours to really make sure that you have the problem. Now, if you have gestational diabetes, it's going to be very, very important that it gets treated. Because if your blood sugars get totally out of control, it can cause a stillbirth where the baby dies inside of you. And that, it's just a terrible thing. Even if it doesn't get that bad, but it's still not well controlled, it can make the baby too big, which can cause birth injury um, or other problems um, during the time of delivery. So it's really important that you control your blood sugars if you have gestational diabetes. Now the good news about gestational diabetes is that delivery cures the problem. Now, it takes a few days for everything to clear out, but essentially, you're going to go back to your normal self, um, your non-diabetic self, after, eventually after you deliver. However, we're never really sure when we diagnose someone if this really is gestational diabetes or did you really have diabetes before and didn't know about it. So we always recommend that people follow up with their family doctor or internist, with their primary care specialist, to get um, some blood sugar check about six to eight weeks after delivery to make sure that the diabetes is gone. But for the most part, this is only a short-term issue that you're gonna to have to deal with while you're pregnant. The primary way to treat gestational diabetes is with diet. You really need to decrease the amount of carbohydrates in your diet. So what is a carbohydrate? Well, the obvious stuff is the sweet things, the sugars and the, the ice cream and the candy and the desserts and all the things that taste sweet. Uh, those you need to completely get rid of in your diet. That includes juices. Even fruit juices have a lot of sugar in them and really aren't safe when you're diabetic. Tea that's sweetened um, with sugar is also uh, a no-no. Now, the, um, the NutraSweets, saccharin, the, the sugar substitutes, those are safe and won't increase your blood sugar, and they're actually safe in pregnancy, so those you can use. You also want to avoid other types of carbohydrates, which are starchy foods. So that would be things like bread, pasta, tortillas, cereal, potatoes, corn, rice, all that starchy stuff. Those foods are also carbohydrates. So what happens when you eat a piece of bread is that it gets into your um, stomach and your intestines and it gets broken down into sugar. So I tease that eating bread is like eating a candy bar. It just eventually gets turned into sugar. Um, so you wanna be careful about that. Now people say, well, what if I have complex carbohydrates and whole wheat bread? Well, honestly, that is a little bit better only because it takes longer for your body to digest it, and so the sugar release is a little bit slower rather than all at once, and so it's a little easier for the body to handle it, but it's still carbohydrates, and it's still putting sugar into your system. So for the most part, you want to try and avoid those things as much as possible. So what does that leave you with? Really, mostly meats and vegetables, and that's basically what a diabetic diet is going to be, is primarily meats and vegetables with some fruits uh, and a small amount of carbohydrates. Your doctor is probably going to want you to check your blood sugars at home, and usually that's checked um, in the morning before you eat and then after meals. Some people like to do it two hours after meals. Some people like to do it one, after, one hour after meal. Part of it has to depend really on how people are trained. Uh, but there's going to be um, tight controls, and your doctor is going to want to see those numbers to help you adjust. Now, if you're unable to get the blood sugars under control with diet, then uh, insulin is probably going to be added. Some people will add um, oral medication, and those are safe and they do work. In my opinion, it's a little bit of a slow process, and since there's not a whole lot of time between the time you diagnose and the time to deliver, I don't like messing around with the oral agents. It's certainly um, a safe way to do it. It's very acceptable. Uh, for me, I'm a little bit more aggressive. So if I have someone that fails diet, I'll put them directly onto insulin just so that we don't lose a week or two seeing if the oral medications work. Don't worry about insulin. A lot of people have this idea that if they take insulin, it's going to make the baby diabetic. Absolutely won't. It's going to protect your baby. You having gestational diabetes is not going to make your baby diabetic either, so you don't have to worry about that. But it's very, very important that the blood sugars are in the goal range to keep your baby healthy. So gestational diabetes is, is 
it's a big hassle if you have it because you have to change your diet, which is really difficult. You have to um, sometimes use insulin. And then exercise is the other thing. Exercise will also help bring your blood sugars down. So there's some big lifestyle changes. On the other hand, it's one of the few things that you actually can control. So the health of your baby, in a great part, is going to depend on what you put in your mouth. So if you're able to take it seriously and do what you need, that gestational diabetes is not going to be a big problem, and you're going to have a normal, healthy baby.